Welcome back, we're here looking at the end of the season, that's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 4, 2022. If you like support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below, and you're also welcome to join us over at Patreon. So let's start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have had an amazing day yet again today. We're up more than two and a half percent. And at this current stage, we are getting very, very overstretched. I've been saying this kind of the last few days, but uh, we just exploded to the upside. And uh, if you look at the bullish band, we can see that we are still way outside of the bullish band. You can see, look at the RSI, we are technically overbought at this point. And so we have basically not been overbought in the NASDAQ for a really, really long time. We have to go all the way back here, basically last year to see the NASDAQ being overbought. So market is uh, more optimistic at this point. And if you just look at the VIX, for example, is down more than 5% today, nearly 6%. So volatility is, um, is decreasing in the market. Fear is basically decreasing and uh, there's much more optimism and therefore people are willing to buy, but things can't go parabolical forever and the markets uh, have to go down at some point before going higher. So at this kind of stage, it looks like 20 simple moving average, 50 moving average should be where we find support. We can see that the simple is where we found support here. We also found 20 simple moving average to support there. And if we see the 20 simple moving average moving in this direction, then a pullback towards the 20 simple it could be uh, where we find support and head towards the 200 moving average. So we can do it like this, 200 moving average moving in this direction. And this is most likely where we find a major uh, resistant. 50 moving average is also a travel link uh, in this direction. And if we were to break below the 20 simple moving average, then the 50 moving average will most likely come into play. MACD is still uh, very bullish, Stochastic is also bullish, RSI is still very bullish, but we are overbought at this current stage. We also have uh, this area where we will most likely find a lot of noise. This was the lows of March and this highest of, of May, and we are basically entering this area. So. Going back and forward could also be something that we will witness um, going forward. But still, a lot of optimism in the market and uh, looks like 200 moving average is going to be the target here. So let's look at S&P 500. It's not as overstretched as the NASDAQ is. The RSI is still not overbought and we're not outside of the bullish band. We still have this area uh, roughly here which we have to get through in order to go to the 200 moving average, which is moving in this direction at this current stage. So we may see this market pull back. Uh, 20 simple is also where we, uh, 50 moving average is where we found support the last time and we just went, uh, rallied significantly upside. 20 simple moving this direction. If we break down from here, then we'll most likely find support there and head towards the 200 moving average. If that fails, then we have the we, then we have the 50 moving average just underneath is right here, which we could find support as well. Break it below here, and then we may drop to significantly lower levels. It looks like uh, August is going to be a very bullish month, um, and sometimes that is the case. Um, markets tend to rally in July, August and then fall of cliff in in September. If you look all the way back towards, for example, um, 2020, this was the beginning of September. We got really overstretched in August and the first of September, this market fell basically up a cliff. And the same goes for 2021 and so on. So uh, September usually is a really bad month for stocks while August is fairly good. But also here, could see a pullback if we see a pullback also in the NASDAQ. If you look at the Dow Jones, we can see that we are not as bullish or overstretched as for example in the NASDAQ and the, and the S&P 500. RSI is at 64. We're not uh, even close to the top of the bullish band, but we are still running into this area 
very similar to the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, which should create a lot of noise. The lows, the highs, and going back and forward here uh, could be something that we'll see. 20 simple, uh, 200 moving average moving in this direction. If we, um, if we pull back from here, then 20 simple moving average is right here, and the 50 right here, we could find support there or find support at the 50. 200 moving average will be a major obstacle. And if we have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average, that is concerning both the NASDAQ, S&P and the Dow, then this technically uh, bear market will most likely end and it will go into a bull market again. We did fall in the NASDAQ at least roughly 35%. And that is a, a major um, major pullback in 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 any market if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well and there's still some room to the upside it's not as overstretched as the other ones so european markets dax is looking uh, much stronger now we are way past the uh, 50 moving average right here so the 50 is now acting as support and at this current stage we're targeting roughly at the the 200 moving average we can change the red 200 moving average which is moving in this direction so there's a quite a lot of, of space from where we are at this moment up towards the 200 moving average roughly a thousand points if we pull back from here then 50 should offer support 50 20 should offer support and if that breaks down then all the way down here to 12.4k so yes that's, that's kind of what we're, uh, we're looking at at this current stage is basically choppy up towards the 200 moving average macd is still bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is also bullish with a lot of room to the upside so nikkei is building basically a base right above uh, the right above the uh, 200 moving average so we go black here the highs are lows and we're just going back and forward from from this way if we basically break above here then we'll go higher breaking below here then we have the 50 moving average moving this direction that will mostly define support but it kind of looks like we are going to have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average um, going forward so this is a golden crossing which is uh, uh, sign that the market will turn um, in this case to the upside and become bullish uh, but that is to be seen we need to basically take out these two uh, tops here in order to go higher or, or basically break out of this range if you look at macd is still bullish the castle is bullish and is also bullish and there's still uh, quite a lot of room to the upside before this gets overbought so let's look at the VIX. it's um, starting to look like like the market is going to break down from here um, there's not a lot of room to the downside we are 37 in the rsi at the bottom of the bullish band and uh, if you look at at uh, the uh, the 50 moving average it is most likely going to cross the 200 moving average if this continues the 200 moving in this direction and this will most likely be a golden crossing and the 50 moving average will then act as as resistant instead of acting with support, support as we have gone forward. We are in a fairly nice downward channel here. And as long as that is the case that we were that we are in this channel, then we'll just continue going lower. Upper part of the channel acting as resistance and lower part acting as support. So it may just see this market continue going forward uh, within this uh, channel breaking out of it well then uh, either to the downside or the upside then we will have massive movement this is getting fairly overstretched to the downside so a pullback towards uh, the 200 or the upper, upper part of the resistant line here that would make sense as also stocks and indices basically need a break at this point from the rally MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the 10 year. It found major resistance at the 20 simple moving average, and that is a very bearish shine indeed. Massive movement to the upside yesterday, and also the beginning of the session day, and then just um, 
create a shooting star here. MACD is bearish, stochastic is also turning around, they're still bullish, but RSI is also bearish. So at this current stage, due to the fact that the 20 simple moving average has been, we have been rejected there, it looks like we're going to head towards the 200 moving average down here. So going forward, we may see this market rally up towards the 20 simple, but as you see, got rejected. So down towards the 200 moving average before going higher, that is probably what we are going to see going forward. 50 moving average moving in this direction. And if this holds, then we'll most likely have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average in the next uh, few weeks. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck again. Thank you very much.